Hi, my love. Thank you so much for visiting. Heavy with your energy. Five of Wands is in the reverse, though. If there's some type of chaos, conflict, competition, or anything like that, if you're a Queen of Wands, apparently you have the strength to combat this and get through it. Or if you are being attacked in any way by a Queen of Wands, you have the strength to get through this as well, okay? Something is finally coming to an end. The Hermit card here, somebody could be a Leo Virgo Cusper. Three of Swords, somebody has been watching you and it's about to blow up in their face. They've been watching you a lot, okay? Somebody could be watching your finances here. Look at that Two of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles almost came out. So somebody could be watching your finances. This could be someone in the family. Oh, the star card. Somebody could be watching you heal for the sake of you doing something great for your family or creating a family. This is somebody hanging back in the shadows. Four of cups. Yeah, somebody... Four of cups. There is rejection, abandonment, a missed opportunity to be happy, to have a family. And here's a king of wands. So the king of wands is now here with the queen of wands. The four of cups, the ten of cups. Uh-oh. That's a couple. And the two of cups is out here with the three of swords. Is somebody going through a breakup, separation, or divorce? The star. But there's healing. Or the somebody has to face the naked truth. I heard the naked truth about something. Seven of Wands and the Hangman. Just clarifying the Hermit. What is this? What's going on? The Hermit, Seven of Wands, and the Hangman. I feel like somebody's having some kind of aha moment. They feel like they need to protect some themselves or block themselves. Somebody knows that they're being watched by a third party. They know it. The Eight of Swords, yep. And the Eight of Swords is clarifying the Two of Cups. So Eight of Swords, Two of Cups. Someone wants a person to be restricted. Somebody is really in their head about the, the tower. This is a breakup, a separation or a divorce. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody no longer wants to invest in this partnership. King and Queen of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles is here. All right, so there's two queens out here. Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. The world, something is over. Ooh, and the Empress. Something is over. There's the Empress here. And then there's the Queen of Swords. To a Pentacle, somebody here has been juggling or someone's connection or soul tie or whatever to another person is the reason why they've been juggling but something is being balanced out a person's healing they're taking a leap of faith to have a new beginning here to get themselves balanced so this king of wands has a situation that's blowing up with the queen of wands i feel like this person is looking at a queen of pentacles they've been experiencing some type of turbulence or disturbances or interference in their life they now are trying to become the king of pentacles you have a king of pentacles that's coming in they want to move to peaceful calm waters because they feel like something is meant to be okay so yeah five of cups there's regret disappointment or loss but all is not lost here something was meant to happen the death card so somebody could for sure be feeling the pain of an ending Somebody with judgment. Judgment is usually about second chances or looking over the past with some kind of compassion. You have the six of cups and the lovers here. So somebody is making a decision to end one situation and to go into another. Heavy Scorpio energy here. Somebody is upset that a person wants to go back to somebody from their past or somebody 
knows that they're going to be in someone's past while they move on to their future. Like they know it. The Hierophant, yeah. Somebody wants to marry somebody that they have a deep connection with. Three of Wands, this is what's coming in. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Somebody has been very resilient, very steadfast and resilient. They're serious about having a serious commitment with someone. I feel like it's going to cause some conflict and drama though, because I feel, yeah, this person's taking the offer. Somebody here is choosing to go towards a person that they've been saying is just a friend or someone from their past that they're not really interested in. It's something like that. Like somebody has either downplayed the situation because at some point it wasn't that serious or somebody was got into a situation and they didn't know that it would become so serious. I take it however it resonates. Page of Wands. Confusion, daydreaming, fantasy. Somebody I feel with the Page of Wands and the Seven of Cups is taking action. There is exciting news or they're creating something new that they've been manifesting. It's giving a vision board energy. Like somebody has been planning. Six of Pentacles. Planning to pursue somebody and to give generously to another person. But they're leaving a situation behind. Two of Wands, there's the decision. The decision has been made that somebody is making an offer to someone. And whoever a person feels betrayed because somebody is speaking the truth that they are going towards their wish fulfillment. They're starting over new to have a very passionate beginning with someone who makes them very happy. This king of cups, somebody here is in love. They're manifesting love. And I feel like this part, they don't want to hide it anymore. This card in this deck is in the reverse. It's the eight of cups. Somebody here is walking away from a person a job, a situation, marriage, whatever. And let me tell you what I'm picking up here, what I'm getting. Somebody has been um, maybe distancing themselves from a person or a group. It could be friends or family. Somebody has known the entire time that they wanted to go to a particular person or place. And I'm going to say, it really feels like a relationship. This feels like somebody who could have been in a very committed relationship, long-term committed relationship, maybe even a marriage, who is leaving someone behind to pursue a person that they feel they're more equally yoked or aligned with. And they're not saying, like, outright, like, I'm leaving this person behind for someone else. But in the back of their mind, as they've been planning, th there was, it was or it has now become part of the plan, okay? I can't say for sure like somebody left a person and decided, hey, I'm going to go towards somebody else. I, I, don't, I don't feel like a person left someone for somebody else, okay? I do feel like somebody is leaving a person behind and they are going to connect or they have connected with somebody that they know or that somebody else knows. That, that could also be a reason for some of this chaos, conflict, competition, and drama. Somebody is leaving a person behind. They're going towards a person that 
whoever they're leaving behind either knows of, knows about, um, either personally, professionally, or whatever. Somebody could simply just have found out who someone was on social media or something. But somehow, there's at least three people involved in the situation, okay? And it feels like all parties know about each other now. Three of Swords and a Two of Cups. Yeah, there's a third party here. So somebody, I don't, I don't know where who you are as a viewer. If you are the person that you know somebody is leaving behind or or coming towards nine of swords, somebody is stressed out because of this truth. Somebody is stressed because the truth is out. Yeah, the truth is out. That ooh, y'all gonna be it's, when you see this. The truth is out that somebody is moving towards having victor and success with a person that they are choosing to marry or celebrate with or that they want to live with. It's a very big decision here that a person is making. And they know that other people are going to say that they're being very reckless when they choose to move forward or communicate with this nine of pentacles because somebody is still, somebody is choosing to marry a person and they don't care what anybody has they're like by any means necessary they're gonna they're gonna work on this partnership and they don't care who has something to say about it that's what it is so this could be somebody is going through a divorce or they've gone through a divorce or whatever, they're choosing to start their life with somebody else. And they know that an ex or family members or whoever may not like it, but they don't care. They're moving forward. But I do get, um, like somebody has been protected. Whoever the person, the new person is, they're being protected. Somebody already knows that there's some type of chaos or conflict. It almost feels like a person is trying to, um, how can I say this? Like, make sure that there's not too much conflict or drama when a person comes around. I, I'm really getting to, like, somebody here could have children. There's going to be an introduction of like children or extended family. Somebody is trying to make sure that the situation, the, the coast is clear. in the reverse something is not moving forward or there's like some type of trouble that's coming in six of wands so somebody is not moving forward with one person king of swords they're communicating the truth to somebody that they're not moving forward they're not going to take a leap of faith in the situation because they don't see a future oh Somebody also could be choosing to travel or relocate to start a life elsewhere. Oh, and this has somebody upset. Travel or relocation is heavy. Somebody is starting a brand new life. Like they're relocating, possibly. Changing homes, possible re possibly relocating. And they're choosing not to move forward with somebody to move, you know, share space with another person. It's, whatever this is, is serious. 
wow, Ace of Swords, it's, it's the truth, it's clarity. Somebody has new ideas about what they want. They're not feeling restricted at all, Eight of Swords. Somebody is not confused. They're not mentally restricted, trapped in any kind of illusion. Somebody has decided they're moving, they're traveling, they're moving out, they're divorcing. They're, they're starting this new life. This new career, this new life, like, you know, it's this, it's a relationship to a cups. And now somebody is at a point where they're they're not hiding it. They're they're telling people or they're about to. You know, the holidays are coming up soon. This is a timeless reading. But this could be a situation too where if somebody has sort of been hiding a situation. This year around the holidays, somebody's gonna make it very clear that they are with somebody or they have broken up with somebody. Um, this could be a situation for the sake of saving face. Two people could be broken up, separated, and they're not really telling people it's about to come out because somebody is about to start openly, openly courting another person. It's not gonna be a secret anymore. It's like, Somebody also may be telling the person, okay, listen, I'm I'm about to introduce the kids to this new person. Or somebody, I'm I'm moving in with somebody else. You know, like so, somebody is really about to take a situation to the next level. They're not hiding it. No more saving face. No more giving a person false hope. Somebody's like, no, we're not getting back together. Okay. Five of Cups again. Somebody is very sad about this. Three of Pentacles. People learning the truth about a new connection has a lot of people really disappointed or it's like friends and family are learning that two people are separating and they're disappointed. People are like, you guys were such a great team. Somebody, somebody's just like, I don't care what people say we look like. We're not happy. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. This is a lot of people coming in saying, oh, I thought you guys were so happy. You look so great together. It's such a nice family. You're such a great team. Two of cups, five of cups, yeah. But somebody is just like, no, I. if if I don't move forward now and get out of this situation, I'm going to regret it later. We're, we've been stuck, we've been stagnant, we're unhappy, we're sad. This is an unrequited situation. Seven of cups, I'm, I'm sorry. So sorry. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Somebody's like, let's just let's just admit that this is not working. Because somebody wants to now ring shop <laughs> or plan to build a life with somebody else. And they are making a decision to make a huge offer. To somebody new. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Somebody's like, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to hide. This feels like people who either were never married, but they have all of this like mutual respect for one another, you know, or maybe they've been doing it for the kids. You know, don't don't really show that you're dating because of how the kids or the family may think, or this could be two people who have been together for a long time and maybe they work together as well with the Three of Pentacles for the sake of business, like I said, for the, the sake of showing face, showing up to the community, to friends and family. They've been wearing masks and, and putting on this facade. Somebody now is saying, no, I want true love or I found true love. I cannot continue to play this role with you when I need, I'm needed in my new, my new life, my new relationship connection. I can't do this. And somebody is begging a person, no, let's, let's keep this up. And it's like, no, 
because I'm I can hear this conversation. Somebody's like, I can't keep. I just I can't keep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm saying what's that movie? Waiting to exhale. When in the movie Angela Bass, I think her name was Bern Bernadine or Bernadette or something. <laughs> her husband, you know, he, is that the movie I'm thinking about? Anyway, somebody was saying the um, the husband was telling the wife, like, pretty much, I can't keep leaving <laughs> my other woman alone. You know, and the wife is like, that's your mistress. But the man is like, no, that's my woman. That's, that's the person I want to be with. And I can't keep leaving her. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a scene for you to think about. I'm seeing the movie. Oh my goodness! Now everybody's not gonna um, know this movie, but I think it's Diary of a Mad Black Woman, when the man tells the wife, "Like I can't keep leaving her. She has my kids." <laughs> it's that type of situation where somebody is is telling a person, "Listen." My life is somewhere else. Now I'm not saying that it's right because I don't I don't know if somebody here is leaving a, a great home to go be with a mistress that cares nothing about them seriously. That could be a karmic, or if somebody is leaving a karmic behind to go after a divine feminine that the karmic feels is is the mistress. I I don't know, but somebody is making it clear to a person, I can't keep playing house with you when I know I'll have a home or I want to create a home somewhere else. The emperor is in the reverse, okay? So this could be somebody who is abusing their power. This could be a very stubborn, toxic, um, masculine. Ten of Swords, who is backstabbing and betraying somebody. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. Wow. Somebody here who does not have balance. They, they're not organized. They're making bad financial decisions. So this could be nasty. Um, I was wondering, like, is this some is this masculine if, if they're in a positive energy or not? And it doesn't look like it. Now, this could be a past situation. For some of you, this is something that could have happened to you in the past. Somebody could have neglected you to go and be with, you know, somebody on the outside or a mistress. And they could have been very generous to this person. Six of Pentacles. Definitely sharing money and resources. Oh, but it was a bad decision. The devil. Wow. Wow. Either this already happened and somebody is getting confirmation that they made a bad investment or this is something that happened in the past I'm, or this is happening now and somebody may regret it later. Mm, eight of swords. Wow. And the judgment. Spirit is like, somebody better hurry. They better wake up because they're about to take a dive off the deep end. Mm -hmm. Wow. This also, too, could be, you know, if this situation has happened to you, you need to call judgment on the situation. You may still be looking for something or someone to blame. There's nothing. This situation, it just is what it is. And you're going to have to release yourself from the feelings of being trapped or restricted or allowing yourself to be stuck feeling, you know, hopeless, helpless, dealing with the, the stress, fear, and anxiety because of this decision that somebody made in the past or decision that someone is making now. If somebody wants to leave, let them leave. 
let them go. Even if this has already happened, if you're still holding on to a grudge because this person neglected you, abandoned you, maybe even you and your, your, your children or family, you're going to have to let go and let God deal with this situation. Knight of Wands, this person was very arrogant and reckless. They wanted to show off. They, yeah, they, 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 they promise a lot, but they don't really deliver with the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's time now for you to forgive this person and overcome whatever kind of depression this is with the Three of Swords. It's in the reverse. You need to let go of this pain. For a lot of you, this happened in the past. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yep. Somebody was very greedy. They felt like they needed more. Page of Cups. This person could have had a child with somebody else. They may be looking now with the Page of Swords, wondering if this child is theirs, or somebody could have told them that a child is not theirs with the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This Queen of Swords in the reverse either could have told this person something about a child, or they're dealing with a karmic energy that's very childish. This person is not trustworthy at all. Uh -oh. Neither one of these people are trustworthy. They they are each other's match. Truly, honestly. Yep. Five of Wands. A lot of conflict, a lot of drama in this connection. Fighting, arguing, disagreements back and forth. So uh, there's trouble where somebody thought there was going to be so much paradise. There's, there's, they're in a hell hole. Two of swords in the reverse. Now somebody sees the truth or you're going to see the truth. Queen of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Ten of Wands in the reverse. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just laughed because <laughs> it's interesting how that that clip is coming out. And if you've seen the movie, you know the guy he ends up getting hurt. And his wife is the one who has to try and help take care of him. Um, so for some of you, you're gonna have a part, you're gonna see somebody now, they're gonna need your help. And everything that they did being reckless and arrogant, greedy, money hungry, whatever the case is, that's all about to go out the window because whoever the people are that they left you for, and it may not be just a lover. It could be business partners, friends, family, whomever. Don't, they're not going to have those people on their side anymore. And they're going to wish that they had done better by you. So for some of you, this could even be a situation just like in the movie where you could be separated from someone or going through a divorce. They now are going to tell you that they want to hold on to their family. They want, they want to hold on to this because you're the only thing solid that they've had. But they they brought somebody else into this connection. And, and they, for sure, they thought the other person was better. Knight of Swords is here in the reverse. This person... is coming in because they missed an opportunity somewhere else. Like something in their life is out of control. Now they want to come in and balance everything out with you. Or for some of you, you met a person like this who was going through a situation with someone that they've been married to or in a long-term committed relationship they come in and disturb your life and your peace and got you involved in a situation and now they're going back to the situation 
that they most likely told you that they were completely done with? I feel like if some of you though choose to be very resilient and stand your ground, you have a lot of peace and balances coming in. You have a committed relationship that's gonna bring you wish fulfillment, but it comes after you let go of this situation that has been draining your energy. Once you fully release the past, you learn the lessons from the past, then you get to three of cups. You get to celebrate. You get to have love. King of cups. Four of swords in the reverse. Yeah, you're going to come out of isolation. No, no more just sitting around meditating and trying to figure things out. You've already gotten your answers. You need to go out and allow yourself to mix and mingle. Yeah, it's like a queen of cups here. You've been discontent, stuck and bored for quite some time, but your king of cups is right here. They could be in your in a friend group or community. They could be a friend of a friend. You may meet them out at a, a, a festival, a fair, a, a family gathering, holiday, you know, event, a wedding a party, baby shower, graduation, something. You may meet this person out somewhere. So make sure you're not acting like you're just not interested in meeting new people or whatever the case may be because somebody wants to come in and give you love, but you may just be in the middle right now of some kind of nasty breakup where you've been discarded by someone who thought that they should choose someone over you who they went to because of greed and lust and other things. They're going to learn the hard way, but no need in you waiting around to see what's going to happen. August 19th could be of significance. You have the strength card here and the sun. And here's the eight of wands. So this eight eight. So something could have happened between August eighth and August nineteenth, or that could be those could be significant dates. Significant dates. Something definitely happened in August, or the, or Leo season. Or there's Leo out here. August seventh, August eighth, August ninth, August seventh through August ninth, August nineteenth. August 7th through August 19th could be a significant, yeah. There is a secret. Somebody is holding on to a secret or yeah, somebody could have been holding on to a secret. Something could have happened back in August. This is about to come out. You're going to find out about something or somebody is about to find out about you. Listen, something is going to be exposed and it has to do with the Leo or something that happened during August. This could have even been, let me see something. August 8th was the Lions Gate Porter. Here's another number eight. Somebody, ooh, ooh, my goodness. Eight of Pentacles and the Death Card with the Seven of Swords here and the Tower. Something is backfiring bad. Somebody did something back in August to try to block somebody or stop, like, hurt them behind the scenes because they didn't want something to change. Somebody didn't want a breakup, a separation, or a divorce. They were just resisting change. And they did something in hopes that it would cause a disaster for another person. And they worked very hard to do this. So like I said, something between August 7th and August 19th, that was in that time of the Lionsgate portal. So somebody could have even went and did like some spell work or a ritual For that, that like nearly two week period, it could have been even longer. That situation is coming back around. August 13th could be significant. Yeah, so 
let me tell you what I'm picking up. It's like the week before the Lionsgate portal, somebody did magic. That, and then the week after. So in August, it's like somebody was working with the new moon and the full moon in, in August. Because they didn't want something to end. So they were trying to end something in your life, most likely, to put an end to a relationship that you're in or that was coming in. And they were trying to manifest a relationship and abundance in their life. But in order for them to have what they want, they decided that they were going to put an end to whatever you had. Ooh, baby, they're about to get it now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Leadership here, nine of swords. Seven of pentacles, five. This could have been a man who did this. Somebody has really been behind the scenes tampering with a lot of energy for their own personal gain. Cause, because what this really feels like to me is like a masculine who chose the wrong person. I'm not going to say they chose the wrong person. They chose who they wanted. But the person they chose isn't a divine feminine. And once they realized what they did to try to manifest who they wanted, it's like they tried to put an end to a situation that a divine feminine had going on. So divine feminine could have already moved on and started de dealing with somebody new. They could have tried to put an end to that situation in hopes of getting you to come back to them. But this person has since returned back to whoever they were trying to leave behind to come towards the divine. They, they're still with that person or they're going back to that person. So this is somebody who is possibly juggling between, you know, a karmic and a, like a divine feminine. They will use whatever kind of manipulation or in extreme cases, even spell work possibly to try to go towards this divine feminine. So they will try to end things for the divine feminine to go back, but because it didn't work, they're going right back to this karmic person. So they did all of this for nothing. This King of Wands person is somebody who they will lie. They'll do whatever it takes to be on top. Now here you have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. This person is trying to figure out now how can they let go of this situation that they, they invested in that has created poverty for them. But they were trying to Six of Cups, the Star and the Lovers. They did all of this trying to get back with somebody from their past that they want to move forward with because they really wanted to marry this divine feminine. So they took action to do this. But there was magic done by somebody that they were with. Moon magic, like I said, August 7th through August 19th. Somebody was doing very heavy moon magic and now it has come to an end and there's karmic justice being served. The Knight of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Five of Swords in the verse. Somebody's going in with a peaceful resolution. So I don't know who did this. I mean, it's so it's weird because I'm picking up this masculine, but it feels like the karmic did something. Or they both did. I mean, it seems like they both did something. It really feels like two people together. We're trying to change the outcome of their situation, but there's a third party who is like a divine feminine. So somebody was, these two people, like their magic has clashed. This is so weird what I'm saying. It's like <laughs> divine, I'm sorry. The masculine is like trying to manifest a divine feminine, but the person that they're with the karmic feminine 
it's, it's sending death magic to the divine feminine. So that means whatever the divine, the not divine, but the masculine is doing to try to even get the divine feminine back because they're connected to and have a soul tie with a person who is spiritually attacking divine feminine. That, that whatever the karmic is doing is being returned to the masculine too. Because spirit is like, well, how dare you be laid up with and dealing with the person that is attacking divine feminine? But yet you say you want to be with divine. How could you put divine feminine in this type of danger? These people did something. And with this, whatever kind of ritual this is, because I'm saying like August 7th through August 19th or something, it feels like somebody did some type of spell work and then they went back and they may have tried to do it again or reverse it. They tried to either reverse it after they saw it was work or they doubled up on it. But regardless, now something is being balanced out. It's being returned and they don't like the results of what's being returned to them. So somebody, a masculine could have told a karmic, hey, You know, I'm going to pursue something else. The karmic got mad, did spell work or whatever. The masculine could have then went and tried to block or reverse whatever was done. All of this stuff has, has been blocked and, and reversed because it, it's not according to the will of God. Like... <laughs> This, this masculine is doing something because he loves and wants to be with his feminine, but I just feel like he's he's done so much. But then it, I'm also picking up, it's like a new masculine out here. Somebody is serious about like marrying this divine feminine. I, I just feel like all of this drama is behind you. 